Welcome, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the glory of Christ. It's good to be with you again. Um, I was going to say I'm taking it easy again. The last of several videos that you've seen of me, I've been uh, just kind of relaxed on my bed. Um, I think it was David, King David, that said, you know, I meditate on my bed. Dan, I meditate on my bed. <laughs> I meditate on my bed. Land on your bed is a good way to receive revelation. It's a good way to uh, to receive revelation. You know, you're 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 on your back. Your your face is facing God, or up the heavens, and it's a good place to receive revelation. And even King David thought that was appropriate. So, <laughs> anyway, brothers and sisters, it's good to be back with you today. Um, I thought I'd let you know some things that have been going on with the glory of Christ as an organization, and you know we've just been trying to keep up the fort. Uh, published a couple more books to the Deseret Book. One was uh, one one hundred thousand ways to say I love you. Uh, one hundred thousand ways to say I love you, and a hundred thousand ways. A hundred thousand ways to say I love you, or something like that. And the other one was um, being healed through his loving wake. So hopefully, Deseret Book will will like uh, the manuscripts that I submitted, and um, it'd be great. It'd be great to get a couple more books out on publish. Right now, I believe I have seventeen. We have, you know, Glory of Christ has seventeen books. Published with Kindle Direct Publishing. If you like to write and you're you're a good author, you know I would I would recommend anybody to go to the Core of Christ, or not Core of Christ to Kindle Direct Publishing. They they do an excellent job, you know, allowing helping you publish your your book, and they don't charge anything. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> That's great. The other publishers want to charge you an arm and a leg <laughs> for doing something that you can do very, very easily on Kindle Drive Publishing. And anything about Kindle Drive Publishing, they help you do a Kindle book, but they also help you publish paperback books too, which is great. You know, it's it's, it's a super deal, and uh, you know, I feel I've been very fortunate to be able to do it, and they help you advertise your book as well on their website. So, um, anyway, uh, other than that, yeah, I've been working on my car. I'm finding I need to do some electrical work, and you know, I've I've had some friends come by, and they haven't been able to figure it out, but they give me enough knowledge to know what I should do next. And so I'm learning how I will be learning how to use an ohmmeter. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. So I'll be learning how to use an ohmmeter or a multimeter, and and uh, my dad just give you a little bit of reference. Uh, my dad. Uh, he, when I was three three months old, when I was born to three months old, and before I was born to about four years, my dad lived in in Colorado, and uh, that's where my older brother was born. My older sister was born in Germany, and uh, um, he worked at the mines, and he used to use an old meter to charge off uh, explosives. And so he's got that knowledge and he's helping me gain that knowledge. And just today I was talking to my brother on on, on uh, Skype and he's learning how to use an ohmmeter at the same time that I'm learning it right now. So that's kind of neat, isn't it? That's kind of cool. He's got a golf court, cart or, or something to that effect that needs to be repaired and he's learned how to use an old meter and we're all learning this together. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, 
YouTube's a great place to learn how to fix things, you know. You can pay people to do it, but the, the, the experience that you get in learning how to do it is, is to me, so much better because you learn how to do it. You learn how to know how to do it. And you don't get charged the major expenses that you would get charged if you if you had somebody else do it for you and you gain great experience. So, you know, I encourage anyone that, that's fixing a car or doing anything, learning something new. Uh, don't be afraid of learning something new. You know, you know, we all are afraid to, I shouldn't say it like that, you know, because, you know, honestly, you know, when you don't know how to do something, there's a little bit of appreh apprehension but I can tell you, you know, um, Heavenly Father, if you put it, your trust in him, he will help you, help you learn whatever you need to know to fix whatever thing you have to do. You know, I think Nephi was the most um, faithful person that I can refer you to. Nephi was a prophet in the Book of Mormon. And he said, I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded. For I know that the Lord giveth no commandment unto the children of men, lest he shall prepare a way for that they may accomplish the thing which he commandeth them. You know, and it's just kind of neat about my car. You know, I keep on learning things new. And the, the, the fact of the matter remains the same. You know, if I was a professional, I would know exactly how to troubleshoot it problem solve it and get it fixed right away but you know because i'm i don't have the experience you know i'm learning i'm learning how to do these things you know i'm learning how to do it and every time i come to a wall heavenly father says either somebody here or, or more information falls into my my existence so that i can know how to how to fix something new or keep going and continue to learn. It's, it's fantastic. You know, Heavenly Father loves us. You know, he loves us. And and he wants us to have joy. He wants us to be happy. He wants us to find purpose in life and fulfill the, the full measure of our creation. You know, he really does reward us for losses that, that are in our lives, um, losses at times. It might seem like a loss, but he is a rewarder of those that diligent, diligently seek him and those that diligently try to find him. And, you know, my wife is, you know, where we don't get to be together all the time. But what's neat, you know, I, I had a bishop that said, if if Moses was diagnosed, he would be diagnosed parano paranoid schizophrenic. You know, and the reason why I'm saying that is that, you know, in my situation, I feel very one with my wife. I feel that I'm with her all the time. And, uh, you know, if, if I didn't have that connection with my wife, I would be in despair. But I am the most happiest and grateful person on the face of the earth because I do have a connection with my wife and um you know to me that's that's very important very important you know my wife is the most beautiful the most wonderful person i've ever known in my life i love her with all my heart and soul i am thrilled to death every day that i get to write poetry and and prepare and send it to her you know it's just a fantastic thing and uh, Heavenly Father gave me a little bit extra money to get some uh, some stamps until I get my car working again. Then I can take take the 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 paper the 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 work that I'm doing back up to her. But you know, I was hoping to have fixed my my car by changing in the oil or the fuel pump, but because the fuel pump. Um, because there's other problems, you know, Heavenly Father helped me get some stamps, so I feel like I can keep doing my, my poetry and just send 
while I'm working on my car and trying to solve those problems. I have plenty of stamps to send my my poetry to my wife. She's not very far from here. And she'll be getting my poetry and and uh, until I get my car fixed, then I'll be able to go up there on a regular basis. So Heavenly Father rewards us in many ways. And if we're, we're reaching for him and we're seeking to do his will, he even blesses us more, you know. Uh, we're commanded in the Doctrine and Covenants to, to see the Lord's hand in all things. You know, we're called to see his hand in all things. And to give thanks in all things, you know. Every experience that we go through, if we're faithful, will contribute to our it will contribute to our education. It will contribute to our 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 knowledge. It will contribute to our testimony, it will contribute to every good thing. If we make the restored gospel of Jesus Christ the center of our life, and as we serve our Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know, there's a lot of people in the world that don't have answers that they don't know where to look for the answers, and and you know they're they're groping in darkness at noonday, and uh, you know the way that we. Um, overcome the world the way that we don't be influenced by the world is having a constancy of purpose, a constancy of, you know, the Lord says, um, he that's commanded in all things the same as a slothful and not a wise servant. Therefore, he receiveth no reward. Um, men must be earnestly engaged in a righteous cause and do many things of their own free will for the powers within them. Wherein as men do good, they shall no wise lose their reward. And to me, that's that's a saving truth. It's, it's an earnest and an honest truth. You know, if we want the Lord to bless us, if we want the Lord to help us, you know, we want to have a constancy of purpose. And we want to fulfill the measure of our creation. We want to serve God and our families and our loved ones, you know. And, uh, you know, the Lord helps us. The Lord, the Lord guides us, you know, as we keep our covenants, as we keep the commandments, as we honor the priesthood, as we honor our, our church leaders. You know, there's nothing that the Lord can't do. That's why the Lord says, I, the Lord, am bound when you do what I say, you know. And, uh, but if you do not what I say, you have no promise, you know. And uh, it takes time, experience, and mistakes, and successes, and it takes time to learn fully how to keep the commandments, okay? You know, and God knew that. And I think that's why he, he gave this the scripture. He said he said, you know, you know then you know, he gave this sub this prescription. He said in the in the in the Bible in the Book of Mormon it says today is a probationary state, a time to prepare to meet God a time to prepare for that endless state which has been spoken by the angel. You know, we are we are living in a day of probation. We are living in a day of of testing, of refining, of learning, of enjoying, of 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 finding happiness, finding joy and finding peace. And if we if we work with the God of Israel, if we work the God of of with Jesus Christ, you know we we abound in hope, we abound in love, we abound abound in joy and happiness and peace. We abound, we abound in God's blessings. You know there is nothing, nothing on earth that could ever stop us from progressing. You know, and as we progress, as we keep the commandments, as we 
as we love the Lord and serve him with, with a glad heart, with a joyful heart, with a, a joy, a heart of joy and thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, sees to it that as we keep our covenants and keep the commandments, we have the love of the Father continues with us. Our Heavenly Father gives us answers to our prayers. Our Heavenly Father comforts our hearts. You know, if we are having sorrow, we keep a covenant, and our sorrow is turned into joy. You know, it's just an amazing thing. But that's the truth, you know. And, uh, you know, it's true that no man can, no man can borrow, borrow light. You know, we have to build light within us, you know, and it, not that we can't borrow light. We can borrow light, okay? We can learn from other people's strengths and testimonies. We can learn that. But, you know, we, we can't make it solely on borrowing other people's light. We have to have a, a ample ply, ample, ample supply of, of testimony, of, of, of success. You know, we, we, we want to have oil in our lamps all the time. You know, enough oil that we can give lamp, we can give light to another person, you know, that we can give light to those that are around us, that we can give light you know, and shed light on things that that are that occur in our life, and you know, it, it's a magnificent, a beautiful thing. Um, to share the gospel, and I don't think there's a more rewarding. Um, uh, there's no more rewarding. opportunity than to share the gospel with another person and to share the gospel with those that we love, those that we care about, those that we appreciate in our life, our loved ones, our families, our you know, the relationships that we build. You know, those are our family and the people that that surround us, especially our loved ones, are the people that God has given us to 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 learn from and also given to us to teach and to to influence and you know the way we do that is making Christ the center of our life and his restored gospel the center of our life you know by doing that we're bound in blessings we're bound in hope we're bound in truth we're bound in knowledge we're bound in joy happiness and peace and there is no other way. There is no other way. There are other ways, and you can find other ways. But you know, for me, this is the path that that has led me to the most profound joy, the most profound peace, the most profound happiness, and security from my heavenly Father. And I so testify to you, brothers and sisters, that. As you study the gospel, as you if you read the scriptures, um, you know, when you think about the scriptures, they will show you all things what you should do. Um, they also, you know, the Lord says, draw, draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. Seek me diligently, and you shall find me. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Ask, and you shall receive. You know, if, if, if you knock seek and ask you will find and the Lord says draw nigh unto me and I'll try to draw nigh unto you you know the more that we draw closer to our Heavenly Father the more inspiration the more knowledge comes to us through the scriptures through words of living prophets and apostles through um, through people that that have had their 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 testimonies magnified and sharpened by the power of the Holy Ghost, you know. And uh, I testify that that's true. Um, you know, 
as as y'all know, as much as I like to talk about the restored gospel of Jesus Christ, um, I like to talk about my wife too. <laughs> and my wife is the most beautiful, the most beloved, and most wonderful person in my life. And I love her with all my heart and soul. Um, she is the most profound blessing in, in my entire life. And I'm thankful that I have a connection with her in the spirit. Otherwise, my life would be very difficult, you know. And we have that connection through the Holy Ghost, through the power of the priesthood, you know, through the power of inspiration. And, uh, you know, I'm very grateful for my wife. She is the most greatest blessing that has ever come to me in my life. I love her with, with all my heart and soul. I love her with all my heart and soul next to Christ. You know, I love Christ with all my heart and soul. I love my wife with all my heart and soul. And I have been so blessed, so tremendously blessed to have her in my life. To be blessed, prospered, preserved by a wife that loves me, that cares for me, that that um, that I could love and care about with all my heart and soul too. And uh, you know, I know I got the better end of the deal. <laughs> I got the better end of the deal. My wife is a tremendously beautiful, most magnificent person. And uh, she is my best friend. She's the love of my life. She's the angel of my life. And I testify to you, brothers and sisters, that that marriage is the most rewarding, the most edifying thing on the face of the earth. You know, you know, one of the problems about the world is they think you cannot have it. You can continually, you know, take what what you want, and when it's when you want something better, just throw away what you had before and and get something better and you see that problem in the world satan is very cunning he's very cunning he's deceived many people and thinking that it's no problem to to um you know once you've been married a while there's no pro no harm in and throwing your wife away and finding another woman that that you think is more attractive or whatever. You know, if you're not careful and you're not watchful, that's exactly what the world tries to do to you. And it's it's a corrupt and a a uh, abom abom abominable uh, occurrence. You know, you have to be constantly aware. You have to you have to be mindful of your choices. And I believe that's why God gives us covenants. That's why God gives us commandments. That's why God gives us joy and happiness and, and things that we can we can abound in. Now we can abound in God's love. We can abound in God's blessings. We can abound in God's mercy. Justice, mercy, truth, and might, power, dominion. You know, and, and to me, that is the most wonderful, the most effective, the most for sure way to find joy in life, you know. You know, joy is the object of our existence. Happiness is the object of our existence. And will be the means thereof if we pursue the course that makes it so. And that course that makes it so is uprightness, you know, patience, persevering, keeping the commandments, honoring your covenants, um, serving the Lord, serving your wife, and finding joy in your own life, you know, finding purpose and, and making, you know, improving your surroundings, improving your home, improving your you're everything that God's given you because everything that God's given us is a stewardship. Now, everything that God gives us is is given to us by the Lord. He wants us to take care of it. And part of taking care of it is learning how to maintain it and keep it up. 
And, uh, you know, and that's why I talk about fixing my car all the time is because, you know, my car is about a 31 year old car, but the experience and the things that I'm learning in the process of maintaining it and keeping it up is, is priceless, you know? Um, so brothers and sisters, you know, everything you can tie to the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you make Christ the center of your life, as you make the restored gospel of Jesus Christ the center of your life, you will find purpose, you will find hope, you will find salvation, you will find answers, and you will grow, prosper, and be blessed. And, uh, Right now we're going through the COVID-19 um, pandemic here in the world. Just to give you a timeline, when you watch this, you know, I was watching a thing on uh, President Trump. In my opinion, and in my, you know, I'm not a political man, but I am grateful for our, for our leader, um, President Trump. I don't think at this time that we could ask for a better leader that has done more good for our country and has made calls that have affected our our livelihood more effectively than he has, you know, in his in his presidential inauguration. I am a full supporter of Trump, you know, and I know that. You know, is he a perfect man? No, but he is, you know, he he is the president. He has right to revelation for the for the country, for its prosperity, for its for its um for its safety, for its for its protection. And he has been he has proven by far more than any other president I've known. Uh, there's been some very good presidents, in my opinion, anyway, and uh, but Trump, you know, he's got to make a call right now, and that's to to take off the par take off the uh, the reins of this pandemic, and allow you know these small businesses to start start up again, so that they don't go out of business. It's a hard call. Nobody wants to have to make that call. And, you know, Trump has said this is the hardest problem. This is the hardest, hardest call that he's had to make. And, but he's being responsible because if we don't allow our small businesses and our small people, the people in the small business, to, to resume their their business and and keep going um we could you know they could lose everything and that's not that's not what god wants okay <laughs> you know god does not want that you know and and you know and the fact of the matter remains the same you know you know it's true we have a found a a a uh we haven't found a um, problem. We haven't found a. We haven't found a for sure uh, treatment for um, COVID. But um, you know, we we are learning, and we're in the midst of learning. And uh, you know, it's it's a hard call, and I don't think anybody would ever want to have to make that call. And, and hold themselves responsible to it, you know. But I think it's a call that God wants him to make. And, uh, you know, I, I, I trust President Trump completely in, in the decisions, in, the, uh, in the, the things that he's been called as a president. And I, I feel that we have been the most blessed people on the earth because of his leadership. And because of what he's been able to do for our economy, for our country, for our safety, for our protection, and so forth. And 
you know, I, I don't normally talk about the presidential and, and political things like this on a normal basis, but, you know, as, 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 as you know, I, I like to start, talk about things I believe in and I'm convict, have convictions in, and I, um, I totally believe that we are being directed by a man that is chosen to be our president and a man that is in tune with his heavenly father to make choices that will affect our, our nation for the best. And, uh, you know, and we are in good hands, brothers and sisters. And I so testify to you these things. And I testify these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a wonderful day. I'm just going to leave this at 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, 30 minutes is a while, actually. But most of the time of my talks get up to an hour. And and I'll just leave this one long, but sh for me, short but sweet. And I, I, I promise you, brothers and sisters, that just like it has been for me to to keep working on my car and finding ways to either take it to a mechanic or to learn to fix it myself. Um, and that same method of revelation that I have received, God will bless you with it in your life. God will bless it with you in your life, whether it be I can fix it in a car, whether it be fixing in a marriage, whether it be strengthening your family, Whatever you're working on, keep working on it and things will open. Things will open up. You might not know all things, but you can act on what you know now and you will learn and become better at it. And I so testify these things humbly. In Christ's name, amen. Have a wonderful day, brothers and sisters. And until we meet again, I'll sign, I'm signing off for now. Bye-bye.